Hi, Cancer. What's up? This is your reading for uh, February. It's um, the bonus for the end of the month. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. First card out. Fool. But it popped up reversed. So, is there something you've been stalling on taking this jump into, like, this leap of faith? Have you been stalling on something? It's like the full energy embodies like um, new beginnings, a new journey. Um, it could be you like going off to college, you going off and moving cities, you um, changing careers, um, starting a spiritual path. Something in your life is changing and you it's been like in the works for a minute and you know exactly what that is but you just haven't jumped yet. So now is definitely the time to take that jump. Um, I feel like not wanting to pop. I think the moon is actually in Cancer today. It is the 16th when I'm recording this, but the moon's in Cancer all day today. I think. Okay, so so five of cups. So you're focused on the bad instead of focusing on what could go right. You're focusing on what could go wrong. Um, you're focusing on all these cups that are overturned instead of realizing all the cups you have that are straight up. So it's like. What good things do you have in your life that you can appreciate right now that can help you um, ease your mind long enough to take that just leap of faith? Ooh, okay. But you have the strength card here. So what things can, like, serve you better if you went about them a different way? Like, what people could you maybe talk to differently? Um, like, just changing your tone of voice could, like, make these people like fuck with you harder it's all about like understanding your audience and knowing who you're speaking to and it's like also too about maybe taming like things that, about yourself that you don't like it could be your anger it could be your emotions it could be um your ego it could be in it like um i don't know whatever you have going on with you that needs to be tamed or put away in order to get you through this time or have somebody help you like get to this final step and you have the magician with the ten of wands. So to me, this is saying like you have all the tools you need, but you're not able to use them because you have so much other shit on your back. It's like you're carrying all these sticks, so you can't pick up your wand or your cup or your pinnacle. It's like you, you're not. You have tools and they're available, but your hands are filled right now. So it's like you can't get to those tools, even though you have them. They're available to you now. You just have to sit down this big pile of shit that you're carrying. It's almost like you're carrying somebody else's shit. It might not even be yours. So, whatever that is, it's like calling for you to let go of that now so you can take this like leap of faith or manifest these things into being. But you have like a lot of major arcana, arcana cards right now. So it's like, it's definitely going to be like a heavy end of the month. You're going through like a lot of emotional shit right now. But you're sailing away from it. Um, meditating would be good right now. It's like you're moving out of those energies of being trapped in your mind. And you're tired of being isolated. You know what it is that you want to um, bring to the world. You know, you're, you're very like, you have a good like plan. You just haven't put it into action yet. You know exactly what it is you want. You just keep making things way more complicated than they really need to be so with this uh page of swords it's like she has her sword she's practiced a lot she's been all the practices but she's never used her sword on the battlefield so maybe that's what you're like going back and forth about it's like you have all the information you have everything to start your business you know what you want to do but it's like you just haven't done it because it's scary it's like things are scary when they're like new it's like embarking on that new journey when that's not what you're used to 
is weird. I'm like kind of going through the same shit right now. But it's like I'm at this place where I'm like feeling stuck and I don't want to like move because I don't know what lies in the future and I don't want to go back in the past. So I'm like suspended right here in this like present moment, which is cool, but it's like you can't move forward if you don't take any steps. So. Oh. Okay. A lot. So the Queen of Swords popped out right over top of the Page of Swords. So it's definitely saying like your mind is, you don't have all the right answers. Like you might think you're right, or you might think you know something about this person, or you might think you know something about this business, but the details aren't clear yet. You need to wait to say something until these things work themselves out. Mm. Yeah, so Seven of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Um, so, you're trying to stay balanced, but also, like, you're having to fight for what is yours at the same time. And, dang, you better watch it. Okay, so these two are really good. So, you have the Wheel of Fortune with the Six of Cups. So... Love is a possibility, and or meeting somebody new, or meeting someone who could help you with this new venture, or whatever it is you're going through, they could help you with it. Or you might be meeting love, or somebody who is going to help you get to love, or get something that you truly desire, but the ultimate, um, but ulti the, ultimately, it's like in your hands. The wheel says, like, you get to spin the wheel, like, you get to decide your fate, pretty much, and it's all in alignment with what you want, it's just about going ahead and realizing, like, it, the longer you wait, it doesn't get any faster, it just gets further away, so now is the time to, like, act if you're going to act. But make sure you're being fair to others with this, like, six of pentacles. Okay, and then you have the King of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles. So, the end and the beginning. So, if something wasn't working, so toss that plan out and start. The Divine's about to give you this new plan. But, okay. Justice with the Devil with the High Priestess. So, the High Priestess could be your fears. Um... It almost looks like past, present, and future. Like, you're suspended with this devil energy um, upside down. So, it's like, it could be addictions. It could be just bored. You're just bored. But it's like, this high priestess, this darker self is like, more like your past. And the justice is you wanting to be like, just and fair for the future of this company. Whether who you're being business partners with or who you're deciding to... Um, invest your time into as a lover. It's like you want to make sure things are going to be absolutely perfect. Like they're going to be worth your time because you don't have any more time to waste, really. Like that's just how I'm feeling. I don't know, but that's just like how I'm feeling. Like this urgency of like, okay, here's those three major arcana. You have so many major arcana here. It's like you're just sick of shit. You're ready to like toss it to the side and move on. And then you have. The Three of Cups with the Emperor upside down. So, it might be you fighting with a father figure or an older man in your life. Um, seems to me like, something, like maybe you've been partying a lot. Or maybe you've been going out with your friends a lot. Or maybe you've been working on this, whatever this thing is that you're doing that you haven't jumped yet. Maybe you've been working as a group a lot and this person is mad. Or this person isn't understanding or being very supportive and it's causing like this argument or something with you guys. Like, something's going on there. And then, but there's like a lot of ego battles and like talking going on right now too about you. So, it's like everyone's got their like stick out ready to like beat you with it. So, in turn it's making you like upset. It's like you're fucked up about it. Um, but what can Cancer do to move away from this energy and have... Hmm. Okay, so this popped right over top of Strength and the Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords. So the Page of Cups is about um, 
it's like, okay, it's like he's talking to this little fish in this cup. Now, the fish in the cup, I think of as, like, your inner child. Like, he's a little fish. So, <laughs> it's about getting in tune with your childlike nature. Or, if you can't get in touch with your own childlike nature, maybe, like, hit up a kid, borrow somebody's child, go spend time with your own kids, like, or, um, visit a school or something. I don't know, but somehow get in touch with your inner child. And... It doesn't necessarily have to be around kids, you could just meditate and try to, like, pull it out of you or watch, like, a weird movie, but it's definitely about, like, reconnecting with, like, maybe some, something you did around the age of, like, 18 to, like, 20, maybe, like, right, right out of college that you put on hold because you did maybe went and had kids, and then you put your own um, inner child on hold for, like, your own children, so now it's time to, like, go revisit those energies and, like, see, like, okay, is this in alignment with that? Is that in alignment with this? Do I need to just psh, and not do that anymore? What do I need to do to move forward? Is basically what it's saying. So, okay, well, I'll see you guys in March. Love you. Um, like, share, subscribe, comment. Hit me up for personal readings, tylergaysantis.com.